Marina and her fiance Ashir have a plan. It's a risky plan. It could be dangerous. It could get her captured because she is a secret mermaid in a world where the sim government does not accept occults. So she is taking this time to tell her son Bay a fairy tale. This fairy tale will make him think of ocean waves and mermaids and give him some of his heritage in case she doesn't return from this dangerous mission. Welcome to 90 Day Fiancé, Sims 4 Edition. Ashir has to do some work before they can go on the mission. He is on the computer. He has figured out a way to set up his work rival, Juan Esteban. Juan has come searching out Marina, and he has tried to arrest her. He tried to turn the whole SBI against Ashir, but Ashir still has his job after finding a work ally to help him along his way. He is doing this for his family. He has been conflicted. It, but he knows he needs to get one completely out of the way and so he makes a phone call one that is necessary one that he wishes that he did not have to make but if he has to choose it's going to be his family every time it is now time for Ashir to make another set of calls. Marina is joining in for this one to remind him of everyone he needs to contact. These calls are going out to their allies. They have met, they've had the meeting of the mermaids, they've met other occults, and they are ready to put their plans into action. Now, Ashir is going to put the next part of the plan into play by going into work like everything is normal. Ashir races off to work knowing that the next part of his plan is extremely risky setting up his co-workers even though it's a co-worker who tried to sabotage him and his family has taken a toll he has now become an erratic sim later that night in chestnut ridge it is now time to implement the next phase of the plan ashir is meeting up with Juan. he wants to meet him far away from home because he does not want Juan to suspect where his family may be he has to keep the boy safe and marina safe throughout this process so they meet up at the restaurant horse in Chestnut Ridge and Ashir has a recording device on him. Now he has to get one to go inside so that he can ply him with drinks to get him to confess to some things he may or may not have done but one is suspicious. It is a part of his nature and it's what makes him a great SBI agent. He is not easily persuaded to go inside, even in a blizzard, but one is hoping that the weather plays in his favor and hopefully he can convince one to go inside. Later on inside of the rusty horse, Ashir buys Juan drinks and he gives him beer after beer and drink after drink to get Juan to say whatever he needs him to say. Juan is becoming very suggestible. So Ashir is playing it cool. He's bobbing his head to the music. He's saying, send another one over bartender. And every time one tosses it back, Ashir now thinks he has what he needs to do the final part of his setup of one and a couple of the co-workers who also tried to sabotage him. But in the midst of drinking, one gives him some unexpected information and Ashir now knows he needs to change the last phase of the plan. Back in Tartosa, Ashir and Marina are ready to head out. Later on in Oasis Springs, Ashir and Marina have arrived at a nondescript rundown building. From the outside, it looks deserted, but this is the information that one gave Ashir. Before this day, they had plans with various mermaids to raid other smaller facilities, but they heard that this is the hub where they are housing many, many other occult sims. Ashir sneaks up to the door and he listens in. Rachel has made it. She is their backup. Marina has gone to the side of the building to act as a lookout. Rachel is asking Ashir if he knows the best way to get in, but he is taking this time to listen to make sure that the path is clear. The information that he got from Juan said that there's certain times of day where nobody keeps watch. So Ashir has decided that the best thing to do is just to break into this building. So he looks around and he goes at it. Marina is keeping watch. Rachel has gone to the back of the building to make sure that nobody is looking. Even though this building looks deserted, it is near populated areas of Oasis Spring. Marina and Ashir walk in, unsure of what they will find. Later on, 
They are inside the building. They feel triumphant, but they look around and they are shocked to see so many occult sims locked into cells. They have a couple of sims to the room. The building has another secret area behind it. They know they can make a difference here. They have aliens here, mermaids. They have spell casters. All the occults are here. They split up and go straight to work. Marina gets the first cell door open. She finds the spare keys. She is telling the guys they are free, but they don't trust it. They think it could be a setup. On the other side, Ashir is coming over and he gets this cell door open. He's coming to tell the two ladies inside that they are free to go. One of them he knows is a mermaid now. And they also have alien twins here. They have told Marina that they are the future Sim Cult Sim Guys. She ends it by telling them to be free and go rule their people. In the meantime, Mashir is walking back because he sees two SBI agents, or should we say former SBI agents. It is one Esteban and their colleague Bajor. He decides to leave them there, teasing them, pretending he can't get the door open. Back at home in Tartosa, the family is united. They know they have a big fight ahead of them because there are other occults. But this facility today allowed them to free so many more than they thought they would. And they knew that they would tackle this task as a family and they knew that they could do it. Although Ashir is still affected by it, he is still now an erratic sim. He feels stronger and he feels better about his decisions because he has ensured the safety of not only his family but so many others. At the end end of this mission their family is whole and that's all Ashir could ask for. Later that night Marina and Ashir celebrate with each other in private their successful mission. They share a passionate kiss and they have conversations about the good that they have done. This makes Ashir feel better about what happened. He knows that he did something wrong but he can't deny all the right things that happened. All the sins that were free. He was starting to see them not as a co sims but just other sims who have families, who have lives similar to his. I'm KT, and this has been a Just a Mind That Sims production. If you would, please like, subscribe, and comment. And remember, until next time, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.